Hey everybody, these are notes on power and efficiency. That's mechanical power and mechanical efficiency in particular. So let's get started. Power, sometimes we just write the word power. Sometimes we'll use a capital P. I often write it as a cursive capital P. Um, power tells us how good we are at doing work, how good we are at transferring energy. And it's actually the work or energy transfer per unit time. So it's work over time or change in energy over time or transfer of energy over time. Um, so that means power is, um, power is a rate. If we can do the same amount of work faster, we're more powerful. Um, or if we can do more work in the same amount of time, we're more powerful. If two people can run up the stairs in the same amount of time, well, they, their time is the same, but whoever is more massive is more powerful because they had to do more work to lift themselves up the stairs. Uh, so the units for power are going to be watts, and the abbreviation is a capital W. One watt is equal to one joule per second. One joule per second. And just to reiterate, power is not something that objects have. Energy is something that objects have and transfer around. Energy is conserved. But power is a rate. Power is how quickly energy is transferred or how quickly work is done. Some other common units for power, well, there's horsepower. And a horsepower is about equal to 746 watts, or 746 joules per second. Also, if we rearrange the power equation, we can solve for energy, and we get energy is equal to power times time. Uh, and that's actually where one of our common units of electrical energy comes from, the kilowatt hour. Kilowatt is a unit of power. Hours are a unit of time, so when we multiply them, we get a unit of energy, and it's the amount of energy required to draw one kilowatt of power for one hour. Ends up being about, well, exactly 3.6 megajoules, 3.6 million joules. Uh, we can also think about power from a particular force. Uh, we can simplify this equation. If power is work over time, and work is force times displacement, then power is force times displacement over time. Well, that, that's the same as saying power is force times displacement over time. Displacement over time is just velocity, so power ends up being just force times velocity, force times speed. This will tell us the power, power from a particular force, from a particular force. that's moving an object. And that, that derivation was quite hand wavy, um, but I'm not going to go into a more thorough derivation in this lecture. Next up we have efficiency. Efficiency is tells us how good we are at doing something. We think about being time efficient, that means uh, using your time wisely. But in physics and science when we talk about efficiency we're talking about energy efficiency. So it's how good we are at using energy to get stuff done, or how good we are at doing work. So uh, we use the symbol eta, which is this little funny looking thing for efficiency. It kind of looks like an N, but with a tail on the right side. Sometimes epsilon is also used, but we're going to use eta. Uh, and efficiency is the ratio of the useful output work, or energy, by the total input work, or energy. So it's useful output over total input. Uh, and our useful output is just whatever we're trying to get done, whatever work we're doing. The total input is all of the energy that we're using to do it. Our bodies are not 100% efficient at moving us. It takes more energy than, than we would predict using just the physics to walk up the stairs. Um, it's more than just mgh worth of energy to raise a human body up by its own mass to a height of h. So we can write efficiency as work out over work in, or energy out over energy in, but, but you've got to remember it's just whatever our useful output is over our total input. We can also write efficiency in terms of power by dividing both the numerator and denominator by time. 
Work over time is power, so or energy over time is power. So work out over work in just becomes power out over power in, and efficiency can also be written as power out over power in. Efficiency is unitless. We can see that because if we look at the top and bottom, the units are the same. We have joules over joules, so the units cancel. So we can write efficiency as a decimal number, and it's always going to be between 0 and 1. Between 0 and 1. Efficiency is going to be less than 100% in almost all real scenarios, but it can definitely never be more than 100%. And it can't be negative, it can't be less than zero. So if, for example, we do, uh, we do three joules of work, but it costs 10 joules of energy, then our output is three joules, our input energy is 10 joules, our efficiency is, well, three tenths is 0 0.3. We could, that's just fine to write it like that. We could also write it as percentage by multiplying by 100%. And it becomes 0.3 times 100 is 30 times percent is 30 percent efficient equals eta. So in summary, power is the rate that we do work. Work over time, and it's measured in watts. Instantaneous power from a force is force times speed. And efficiency is useful output over input. There are accompanying problems in another lecture. Bye.